If you are tired of hitting the Photon ECM targets, I have some good news for you. You can do the level 613 with the Gladius Fleet for fairly low repair stacked. Hey everyone, Derpy here, welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. This is my method for the level 603 Gladius target. I'm going to start out on the very left side here, it matters where you come in, and then we're going to loop around the target, going around the outside here, rimming it before I go in and take down the core. It's pretty important you follow what I'm doing if you want to get the same results. Let's get started. So I'm going to immediately go towards this first harpoon and take this one down. It doesn't really matter if you stack up directly for this one or not. There's nothing to outrange here. Once this is down, I'm going to take down those two ballista on the left and then move off to the left here, using this building right here to target off of and blow everything up. If you get closer to these buildings before you blow them up, you might take a bit more damage because you're going to accidentally trigger it and get a big explosion. That happened in my first hit that I did on that. Once you get take care of this target, I'm going to head across to the right side, take down the phlogiston, and go into the channel a little bit here. Be careful you don't trigger this ballista because it does have a range. I like to shift click it there so I know I'm not going to click it. Then I take down a few turrets here. You don't really have to go in this area right here. I just think it's a probably a good thing to do. It might lower your damage a little bit. Once that's down, I'm going to head out around the outside. And throughout this entire target, I'm going to drive stacked because I want to do simple, easier driving rather than something that's more complicated. I really just want to have an easier job in this target, so that's what I'm going to do. If you did tank and used your evade flagship on every single one of these launcher turrets and harpoons, you would take lower damage, but I don't really care enough is the thing. Took down the little short-range radioactive turret and then the ballista on the outside. You're coming up on another ballista if you are going this method of counterclockwise, but this one is blocked by the mountains, it doesn't really matter, so you can take a shot from there. Just be careful you don't take a second one on this far left side. Anyway, I'm going to go in towards the couple turrets here. Again, make sure to outrange or out outmaneuver them, and you can avoid most of the damage from those, if not all the damage. The harpoon from Phlogiston might get a shot or two off, might do some damage to you, but it's not that big of a deal, don't worry about it. We have one more turret to ballista go around the outside here before we start moving inward and make sure you take down this cluster of turrets. This is another spot where if you were tanking it would help out a little bit, but as I said I want something that's simpler, easier to drive. Now I'm going to take down this phlogiston on the inside here before going around far away from this radioactive silo, just around the outside here so I can take everything down, triggering the short range silo right there, which luckily does not explode everything so there's some good news for there. Now I am going inside here and you have to make sure you target everything, kill the turrets quickly, don't get hung up on anything else that you can't really kill, and this ballista goes down. At this point, if I did charge directly in straight towards here, I might set up these two silos and blow up this large one, which would be bad, so I'm going to loop around the very bottom of the target and kill these two turrets before looping up from straight through the bottom here, where I should be outrange of both of these large two silos. If you do set off the silos, you'll take about an extra 30 minutes of damage or so, which will get this above instant repair for sure. Just be wary about that. But these targets are a lot easier, at least in my opinion, than the photon targets. Although maybe it's because I do have an upgraded fleet. And make sure you stay at max range when you blow them up, otherwise you'll take a fair amount of damage. At this point, you just have to play cleanup now, going through different targets and blowing up a few silos. Just make sure you stay at max range of all the small little ones, and you'll be pretty good here. And if you do have to blow a silo up, make sure you're engaging it when it's at full health when you enter it, and not engaging five ships at one time, otherwise you'll be pretty sad. Looks like we have one building on the left, a few turrets up here, and one almost dead building, just a random one right here. Go ahead and kill those, and I'll be the target pretty much over. I am using a steelhead screw for this because it does lower damage taken, which is always nice, but you definitely don't need it and it's definitely not required. I am at mostly X1, four ships are at X1, the fifth one will be getting up there soon. If you don't have them, you will probably be struggling a bit more, but this fleet has been out for quite a while. There's my path for the level 603, let's go ahead and check the damage taken. Looks like the vast majority of the damage is ballistic from the harpoons rather than radioactive from the phlogiston turrets, and we have 20 minutes damage taken, spread out pretty evenly across all ships, so that's good enough to say instant repair in base. As you can see, here is the build. The flagship does have evade, whereas everything else is pretty standard here, and like I said, is mostly X1, 
You could probably do this with a lower upgrade, but you will need a few ships x1 if you are going to shoot over the mountains. Hope this video helped. If you have any other questions on this raid or Battle Pirates, let me know in the comments below. I will do my best to get them answered. And as always, this is Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.